It's a phenomenon known as start stop. It it makes it makes us go nowhere. Go. Okay, I'm making a little pro little pro little progress little progress little. Pro it adds up. It just it takes a lot longer. A train takes off, you know, and the the couplings it backs up car to car to car. There's gap mm -hmm. in the couplings, so that when the lead locomotive takes off, it pulls the first car, and the inertia of the first two cars pull the third car. When I learned that, it finally made sense because I could never understand like third grade. I'm going. 50 tons, 50 tons, 50 tons, 50 tons, 5,000 <laughs> tons. How? I don't get it. You know? And then uh, I think some of you guys probably had train sets. But, yeah, I got my first train set when I was probably like, I bought it. You know, I was probably 12 or 13 years old. And I was like, man, this thing ain't working. And I had a big <laughs> brother or a neighbor. Somebody's like, that's not how trains start. And I was like, what do you mean? And they showed me because I like, you know, this little double A battery, little electronic choo choo. You had to back it up. It wasn't able to pull all the carts together. And it all it all started to make sense. So anyhow, like everything in life, we need a little bit of experience.